welcome to another week in our fourth grade class. Hello, my name is Marily Sanchez, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am a fourth grade teacher in South Florida, and we are currently in week 14 of the school year. This has been an exceptionally short week for me, not on purpose. Today I'm coming to you from Thursday, November 16th, actually 17th, 2022. I know, I'm already forgetting my days, and it's because I haven't been here the past three days. Yes, we did have school, but last time I left you, I left school last week, Thursday. Friday was Veterans Day, but on Thursday when I left you, I was having trouble breathing. I went home, gave myself some breathing treatments, and took my medicine, and took some Theraflu, and I started feeling better. I was pretty much resting the entire weekend, and it was just a bad case of bronchitis. My bronchitis came back, and it came back with a vengeance. It wasn't COVID. It wasn't the, the flu, even though I was taking Theraflu just to help, you know, with the symptoms, but I did start feeling better, thank goodness. I was getting ready to come to work on Monday, but then I lost consciousness and gave my parents quite a scare. Needless to say, I was taken to the hospital by ambulance and I actually got admitted into the hospital. So I spent some time in the hospital. They were running all sorts of tests on my heart, my brain, and everything pretty much came back okay. So they said that it was basically vasovagal syncope, which is syncope is just the medical term for fainting and vasovagal is basically when your heart rate drops your brain doesn't get oxygen and you faint and it can be brought on by different factors it could be stress it could be panic disorder so we're not really sure exactly why that happened to me but it was super scary um i did go to see my regular doctor yesterday he did some changes to my medications and he's having me make sure i track my heart rate or my blood pressure, I should say, for the next two weeks, and then I'll follow up with him. But that's pretty much why I haven't been here. So this morning I was greeted by my students and they all gave me hugs and they all missed me and I missed them. And it was very nice to be able to be back here with them. Um, this morning I had my block two for the beginning of the day and we were rereading the shared read poems, the animal poems from unit two, week five for wonders and we were going over the different parts of poetry the rhythm the meter the rhyming words the lyric poems and the haiku poems and answering comprehension questions on that with my block one because there were a little bit ahead we went over the anchor poems and we were going over comprehension questions the character perspective and then i had them write some haikus on their own so i'll show you that paper right now before i leave and that's pretty much what we did we also had minecraft club at the end of the school day this was our second week having it and i'm still having trouble having a world where all the students can come into the world so i'm gonna have to send a ticket to my or service ticket to the IT person at our school so he can probably help us and maybe get one of our computer labs going so that we can actually go on desktop computers instead of laptops so I'm getting ready to go home but let me show you this activity that I created for my students to complete yesterday and since I was in here I wanted to make sure that they completed it correctly and completely so this is what we were working on today so what i ended up doing was basically putting all of those anchor text poems on one sheet i just retyped them and i also added a glossary so students knew what some of the words that were used in the poem meant and then they went ahead and answered comprehension questions on each of these poems and it, these were the character perspective graphic organizers one was for the poem back and another one was for the poem Fireflies at Dusk. And then on the back, they had instructions for writing three animal haikus or haikus on three animals of their choice that they liked and inspired them. So that was our assignment for today. I should say that my block two were the ones that were able to complete the assignment. My block one hasn't, and hopefully we can go over our, um, some of that tomorrow. But I am also going to have my block two, or my block one, I should say, take the assessment tomorrow. And if I can get my block two to also take the assessment tomorrow, that would be great because next week we have fall break. So the entire week of Thanksgiving, we have off. So I will not see my students until after the break. So we have a whole week off. And then when we come back, we should be starting on a new unit. So I would like it if we can wrap up this unit. We've been working on it for the past 
two and a half weeks. So I know that last week I told you we had a hurricane day. We also had a professional development day and a holiday. So last week I only saw the students two days. So that cuts into our time that we needed to spend on this unit. So hopefully we get to do it tomorrow and wrap it up. But that is all that I have to share for you for Thursday. So I will see you tomorrow. Hello everyone, Editing Marielle here coming to you from the future. So I never did film a clip from the next day, which was Friday, November 18th, 2022. I believe it was because at the end of the day, it was not an easy day for me. And I think I ended the day in tears on my own in my classroom and I just wanted to go home. <laughs> but I did have my block one from what I can remember work on their assessment. I believe my block two also started working on their assessment or on another activity for that unit, Wonders Unit 2 Week 5. So that is basically what I have to share. Not much, but it was a pretty challenging week. Think about it, coming back from a two-day stay in the hospital, then seeing my doctor on Wednesday and trying to get back to what I needed to do. I have said in previous videos that last year was a very challenging year for me, but now I'm here a year after and it's completely different. I've been having such a great year, but I did want to share my last vlogs and my experience from last year so you can kind of see and kind of have a perspective of what I was going through. But anyway, I wanted to go ahead and end this very short vlog. and. I wanted to thank you for coming along with me. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought or any questions you may have. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I hope you have a beautiful, magical day and don't forget to smile. Hello dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.